freecoachingtoday.com We are trying to find out the gravitational potential due to a ring on its axis at certain distance from it. So let's say we have a, a ring. Ring has a radius of A and we want to find out the gravitational potential at a point P on X axis which is at a distance R from the center of the ring. The ring is it's a thin ring and it has a total mass of M. So to find the electric potential at this point P what we want to do is we will take the help of integral calculus we would like to find out the potential due to a small mass dm. Imagine a very thin slice of this ring cut and it has a mass of dm. We join this point to the point P and let's say this angle is theta. So the electric potential due to this point, this is small mass dm at point P is given by dv equal to and we know that the potential is given by g multiplied the ma by mass dm divided by the distance between these two points. In this case this distance is let's call it z. Now this distance z is given by dm divided by square root of a square plus r cap because it's a right angle triangle and therefore we can write z as square root of a square plus r square. Now the total of course we have a negative sign because the gravitational potential is negative. It's actually the not the work we do to create this system but we get the work that's why this potential is negative. <laughs> The total potential at P is the sum of the potential due to these all small small dm masses and the total potential V is given by integral of dV across the whole ring. And we can also write it as integral of minus g dm divided by square root of a square plus r square. Now the A is independent of M. What means that? Whether you take this mass or this place of mass, A and R do not change. The different masses, for all these different masses, the A and R stays the same. So in other words, A and R are independent of M irrespective of where this mass, small mass dm lies. So we can take this whole thing out of this integral equation and we get g divided by square root of a square plus r square integral of dm. And the integral of dm is nothing but the total mass of the ring. So we will get v equal to minus g divided by a square plus r square m. And this is the equation of the gravitational potential due to the ring.